Good evening, everybody. It's Jenny. Um, today is July 1st, 2020. And um, something I've been working on, I'm still kind of like getting more confident learning the Tarot. I've been doing it for a little while, but you know, I don't feel confident like with doing a whole bunch of readings. But I'm going to start trying this. And um, cheers to you. I hope your um, year has been manageable <laughs> because it's been a crazy year. Anyway, cheers to you. All right, so um, I already pre shuffled. I got, I got a few oracles, and the let's see, I got these out. I guess I will just take the top card. Mm, this is the Three of Pentacles. So uh, the Pentacles is like earthly, uh, more material um, 3D stuff. And the three is that you're making progress in it. So something with your um, financial situation, your career, something like that, that you are building upon that and um, making progress. It's like a steady um, move forward. So that's good. So I also decided to use these um, sacred power cards. Let's see how we can add to this three of pentacles. Let's see. got two let's say we have compassion and we have communication so pretty cards right let's see what, what they say so it's funny that they're both together okay so compassion I'm gonna read this because it's an oracle so but I mean we can kind of understand what compassion is right it's having uh, some feelings of empathy towards others and being understanding so this beautiful, fertile Quan Yin holds the white lotus in her left hand and the pearl of the enlightenment in the other. She arrives today to bless you with compassion, unconditional love, and acceptance. Residing in the realm of the Ascended Masters, she has heard your prayers and she's asking you to open up to miracles. Sitting in the pink lotus, a symbol of peace and harmony. Let me show you this. This is a really pretty card. The mother of all humanity hears your cries and prayers of the people. She stretches her love to those who need it, giving support in times of grief and trauma. Wow, is this more fitting or what? Jeez, okay. Her beauty, grace, and eloquence are captured by the aspects of the divine feminine, loving, nurturing, giving, forgiveness, and compassionate understanding. Known as a bringer of children, the graceful Quan Yin matures, nurtures fertility and creative endeavors. Growth in all areas is possible with the assistance of her fertile hands. She assists those wishing to release burdens around family and love. During times of great sadness and turmoil, she encourages you to nurture yourself. It is only through suffering that we understand that it, what is harmful and what is a burden to our soul's progress. Right now, Quan Yin assists you in removing karmic obstacles, emotional imbalances, and anything else that is holding you back from receiving love in all its purity, softening our criticism towards others, and understanding differences in opinions and perspectives allows us to communicate more effectively. Communicate. That's the next card. <laughs> okay, let me find where I was. Communicate more effectively with friends, family, co-workers, and other members of our community. Having an open heart is essential for us to receive and reciprocate love to others. Removing expectations allows us to receive gifts with no limitations and exhilarates that our delivery. Soft and fertile offerings such as fresh flowers encourage this divine exchange of loving energy into your home or sacred place space. So basically it's saying like through, through trying times to be, you know, more compassionate towards people. Everybody's going through a rough time right now. It's just like a crazy shift and change that's a little, un, not we don't know what to expect. And we've never been through this before. So it causes a little stress on top of everything else. And also for yourself, you know, be compassionate to yourself. Um, make sure your home is um, nurturing, you know, you know, put some flowers around, make it loving and warm. So, you know, so also for yourself, too. Now let's check out this communication. Okay. 
Wait a minute, I have to turn, turn the wrong one. There we go. All right. Okay, we communicate with others using verbal and nonverbal techniques. Our body language, listening skills, and attitude determine how effective we are as communicators. It takes work and effort to improve our communication skills, and with patience, they will develop over time. Miscommunication occurs when we un are unable to listen to other people. Arguments, mistakes, and conflict occur when we refuse to acknowledge information or negativity. Oh, sorry, negotiate. At the heart of all our relationships is communication. Hidden messages can be seen by looking at body language, facial expressions, and the tone of voice. Improvements in these areas help to support solid friendships and relationships. Speak with truth and integrity. Um, say what you mean and mean what you say. Don't be impatient and intolerant. This could lead to misunderstandings and actions that once said cannot be taken back. Spiritual communication is high right now. Take notice of these signs and symbols from the spirit world as they try to connect to you through music, feathers, butterflies, dragonflies, moths, birds, and number sequences. Be open to receiving these messages as they come from the heart with love. Right now, you're asked to listen with empathy and understanding to those around you. There's that compassion again. Place yourself in the other person's shoes to gain a new perspective. There are better ways to get your message across. Be respectful and open-minded in speaking to others. Lead by example and express yourself diplomatically with honesty and dignity. It's better to communicate your feelings instead of being burdened by them. When you discuss your issues, you allow space for solutions to be negotiated and resolved and improve your current state of affairs. It is important that you avoid communicating to it is important that you avoid committing to plans and projects if you don't have all the information. Ask for more details and when appropriate, speak to professionals such as counselors, financial advisors, solicitors, or teachers. Never be afraid to ask questions. It's okay if you don't have all the answers. That's why we have professionals. So I'm just gonna read the affirmation for this one. I didn't for the other one. <clears throat> I am able to communicate clearly and honestly, making powerful connections with others. So, honestly, these two kind of go together because this one was saying about understanding about people and compassion. And I think right now that's very important because sometimes when we get in that fear mode, um, when we're like lost or stressed out, it's easy to lash out on others or um, be so confused that. We take it out on others or we try to confront them and uh, especially right now our planets are a little crazy we have some planets in um, retrograde uh, mars just went into aries which is the home of aries but it's also an aggressive sign um confrontational sign um but you know you can tone it down a little you know try to uh, not act on impulse you know Take a step back and um, think about things before you jump at it. Try to see yourself in, like this card said, in other people's shoes. You've been there, I'm sure. So, all right. So we're gonna do. Um, let's do notes from the universe. Do two more cards. Yeah, this music. I don't really know all of it. I do like some indie music, but I just turned it on. Just. Uh, because I had a crime show on. <laughs> I didn't know if that would be good in the background, so I just turned some indie music on. Just kind of chill, you know what I'm saying? So, good luck. I'm going to drink. Yeah, I had a wine club, so I have these wine bottles sitting around. But I actually just canceled it because they give you the wines they like. Which some of them are good to see new ones, but... Sometimes it's like, mm, I'd rather just go buy my own wine, you know, the kind that I like when I want it. Anyway, three fell out. I wasn't going to take all of them, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. So, start where you are. That's a good one. Start where you are. I mean, where else are you going to start? In the past? That's not good. You can't start in the future. Start where you are. Start where you are. Okay. The great thing about feeling deep, profound, earth-shaking love is that you can start with anyone. Next. The universe. So, it's kind of saying like just to, the same thing, communication and uh, compassion. 
just love everybody. I mean, I, sometimes it's hard to love people, but you can love them from a distance, right? You can still have compassion for them. You don't know what they've been through. You don't know how, what, what, where they are at that time. You know, we've all been in those dark places sometimes, so just keep it a distance from them. I mean, you don't want to take on toxicity or have it in your life. Just, you know, love them from a distance, wish them well, and be on your way. Okay, so next. No two flowers are the same. Get all your beautiful in their own way. <laughs> I'm sorry, I said get. It's uh, my eyes. I got to get some new contacts. Let's see. No two flowers are the same, yet all are beautiful in their own way. <laughs> Even these people who said, can't see in this candlelight and no contacts. Comparisons are odious because they presume all things are equal, which is never the case between me and you, the universe. Okay. And the last, all there is to love has been there all along. When you begin to find love in people and places where you haven't found it before, it's always because you've grown. You rock the universe. See? See? You can still love people, even from a distance or whatever, you know? That's the problem with the world. Everybody's always against each other. If you don't like what I like, then you're terrible and they want to argue. That's not the place to be. Look where it's gotten us, right? So, it's a good thing. And now we're going to do a uh, Power of Surrender card. Tell you what, if you get in that place, then abundance comes to you. And you'll be more at peace and love. I can tell you, that other way, fighting everybody and against everybody and wanting everybody to be like you, ain't going to work. That's why so many people are unhappy. They always think outside things are going to make them happy. It's got to come from in here, you know? Ah, there we go. All right. Surrender to joy. The key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling. During both the hard and easy times, keep surrendering to more joy. That's a good place to be, don't you think? Surrender to joy. <laughs> and that's not going to come if you're fighting people or wanting them to be like you or feeling bad about yourself. It's got to come in here. It's got to come from here. You gotta radiate that light out. And I was gonna do the last one, which is a Star Seeds card. And then we'll wrap this up. And I thank you for watching. I'm gonna be uh, actually putting a new name and page on it. I'm just like perfecting my uh, tarot reading a little better. I'm like, like just where I can. Ah! With love, too. <laughs> anyway. So, I'm hoping it'll grow faster. I only got a couple people on here. I'm just hoping it will, just like to spread, um, uh, like my mission to spread some positivity in the world and help people. You know, that's what I'm kind of looking for because I want to grow spiritually and have my best life. And that is always serving others. Uh, my job right now, I'm a nurse, so I do kind of serve others, but I just kind of want to do it on the spiritual side and as an extra thing on uh, you know when you give and you come from an open heart you have a lot of abundance poured to you so anyway so let's read this love card love live your true and live your truth and share the love that is in your soul live your truth and share the love that's in your soul yeah that's what i'm trying to do anyway be your authentic self, live your best life, be of service to others, don't judge, and work on those shadows, because if you're lashing out on people because they don't like what you like, right there, there's an issue with you, because you, you can't do that, you know, that's not cool, you know, people are different, like people's differences, realize that they're coming from a place, um, they might be at a less evolved situation. They might have went through something that triggers them. You don't know. You can't judge. We all have been there. You know? Everybody's on different levels. You can't do that. I'm going to do one more. Just to wrap it up. I said I was done, but one more. Uh, 
inner worlds. Your external world is a reflection of your inner world. That kind of is a good wrap up because it's true. If you have a lot of turmoil on the inside and you're not happy with yourself and all, it's going to reflect on the outside. That's why you got to get it together. You got to get it together. Surrender. Stop thinking as people of enemies. They're just on their own path. So anyway, peace. Thanks for watching. Bye. Namaste. I hope you have a wonderful July.